What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna heat up the oil stove in my little garage. I'm gonna show you what it looks like and it's gonna be the first time we fire this one up. I picked it up off Facebook Marketplace and we're gonna see how long it takes to heat up the room. So I have an infrared thermometer. We're gonna do 20 minute intervals and see how quickly and efficient uh, these stoves are. This is what the setup looks like. We have our oil stove, our makeshift gas tank, if you wanna call it. We're gonna put some diesel in here. It's gonna flow through the valve. We're gonna make sure this is open and it flows all the way to the back here, right to the regulator. And we're gonna keep this at setting number two or three and see how well it does. We have the chimney going outside here. It's held up by a piece of wood. Since it's a temporary setup, we make it go through the window. And the inside of the stove is quite basic. As you can see, this catalyzer is a little in rough shape, but it's still gonna run. Hopefully it will. Here's what the outside looks like. I put a temporary ladder just to keep everything solid as this is a temporary setup. So this chimney is roughly, I would say eight to nine feet long, which is not the ideal length, but today there's no wind. So we're gonna see how this works. It is currently one degree Celsius outside and we have our infrared thermo thermometer. So you can see the temperature at the bottom right there. So we can see the stove is at negative 2.8 degrees Celsius right now. We're gonna take all our measurements at time zero. This is time zero. And we're gonna come back every 20 minutes and see how this heats up. So the temperature points we're gonna take are at the top of the stove, the side of the stove, the wall of the garage right here, so as you can see, just to give you a perspective, the stove is here. We're gonna keep this door closed. This is a one car garage. We got our Miata sitting in here. And I'm also gonna take a temperature point on these cushions. So we're gonna use this as a guide because it's at the other side of the room to see how quick it heats up. So the top is currently negative 3.2 degrees Celsius. The side of the stove is negative 2.2 Celsius. This, the wall on the side here is negative 1.5. And the cushion at the other side of the room here is negative 1.7. So this is times zero. So we can see the diesel in here. We're just going to open the valve here. Leaking into the copper pipe into the regulator. We can see the oil running in, so we just turned on the regulator at number two setting. And we're gonna light this baby up. So we got our nice flame here. We're gonna close the glass door, and this should run pretty steady. And then we're gonna come back in 20 minutes. So the first 20 minutes starts now. Okay, so we have our first 20 minutes. I just wanna show you the flame so you have an idea of what the flame looks like with the heat type, so. It's, uh, it's not the blue flame we're looking for, but it's, it's getting there. So the top of the stove, we're looking at 209 degrees. The side of the stove right here is 25 degrees. The wall beside is roughly 15.3 degrees. And the mat here, or the cushion at the other end of the uh, garage is eight degrees Celsius. Okay, let's see what we have after 40 minutes. So the top is at 300 degrees. The side is at 51 degrees. The wall here is at 34 degrees. And our cushion here at the other side of the room is at 19 degrees. So it's already feeling a lot warmer in the garage. As soon as I got in, I could definitely feel the heat. So even after 40 minutes, it is one degrees outside still, but it is heating up uh, quite efficiently. We've hit the one hour mark. Let's see what our readings read. 
So the top of the stove here, we have about 240. The side of the stove is about 56. The wall here beside the stove is at 43. And our cushion on the other end of the garage is 30 degrees, 29 degrees. There you have it. That is it for this video, which did a one hour test period. The fuel did empty out, and that's why the stove went out on its own. We're gonna do this test again when it's about minus 20 or minus 25 Celsius, and we're gonna see how long it takes to heat up this garage and to maintain a steady heat. If you found this useful video, throw me one of these thumbs up and comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when I throw out new videos. If you wanna see this done in colder temperatures, just let me know as well, I could do that. Or if you wanna see videos on different things, just let me know in comments and I'll be happy to do so. Thank you very much and see you in the other video.